everybody, this is Sifu Don, and in this video today, we are going to be going over um, just a few simple skills that you can do when you're first starting out with the staff. Um, you may be new to the staff, so you may not even know the best way to hold the staff or some um, skills to do with the staff. So this is going to be a quick video just to show you how to hold the staff and just two or three basic moves that you can do um, to get started. This isn't going to be anything advanced, this is just going to be a couple of moves just to get you used to using the staff and what you should do. So the first thing you need to understand is how to hold the staff. Um, there's a few different ways, actually two um, ways to hold the staff. And the first way is a, like a traditional hold. And in a traditional hold, you have one hand on top and one hand underneath. Uh, this is like a traditional way to hold the staff. The other way is with both hands on top, like so. This is called yin hand. Now, if you're wondering about holding the staff this way, we don't hold the staff this way. This is not an effective way to hold the staff. We either hold it one hand on top and one hand underneath or both hands on the top, okay? But in this video, for this learning exercise, we are doing one hand on the top, and one hand underneath, more of a traditional hold. Now I have a really small staff, as you notice, it's really short compared to me. You typically want your staff to be as tall as you or sometimes to your eyebrow. That's about as short as you want to go is your eyebrow. You don't want to be much taller than yourself, okay? So have it close to your height or to your eyebrow. But since we're indoors today, we're in the house, um, we um, have a really short staff, okay? Now, the first technique that I'm gonna show you is called sliding. We have left, right sliding, okay? And this is so that you can get used to sliding the staff and getting used to distance, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look, you're gonna stand in a straight, Stand straight, and you're going to bring the staff up. You're going to look to the right, and you're going to slide it like so. The right hand is going to be loose, so the staff will just slide like so. It just slides like this. Okay? So we slide it to the right, and then we pull in. So it's sliding like this. Okay? So, you're going to stand straight, pull the staff up to your chest, and you're going to slide right and strike right. Okay, so you'll pull the staff in, and then you'll slide left. I'll step a little bit to the right so you can see this. You're going to slide the staff to the left, and let the left hand be loose, like this. Okay? So you'll slide left, like that, like this. Okay, so again, you'll stand straight, slide right, pull in, slide left, pull in, slide right, pull in, slide left, pull in, slide right, pull in, slide left, pull in. Okay, so this is just a simple technique to get you used to sliding the staff and getting used to distance control. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stay on the staff. Now, you may have a tendency to push the staff and when you pull it, it actually goes out of your hand. You pull too far and it comes like this. That's your distance control. You want to make sure that you're keeping it in your hands like so. After you get used to doing this for a while, then you close your eyes and you maintain that distance control, like this, OK? 
Okay? Now, the next thing you can do is you can actually add a step into this. So what you'll do is you'll come up and you'll step to a lotus. So you step. Now, if you don't know what a lotus is, go back and watch some other videos of mine or look up Kung Fu Lotus Stance, okay? So what you'll do is you'll step to a lotus and you'll strike up like this. Boom. Pull in, step up, step left, and then strike up. Pull in, step to lotus, strike up. Pull in, step to lotus, strike up and then come to center. Now, the next skill is called up, down, sliding. This one is very important because it allows you to switch hands. So as you'll notice right here, the left hand is on the top and the right hand is underneath. But what happens if you want to put the right hand on the top and the left hand underneath? Well, you don't want to let go of the staff like this. We want to use what's called up, down, sliding. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this, okay? Like that. And this basically goes like this, like this. See, this slides and like this. So you slide and then you pull and you slide like this. The hands are never allowed to leave. They can't leave the staff. So you're not throwing it like this, okay? This is wrong. You don't throw the staff. Your hands never leave the staff. So you slide, 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 slide like that. Okay, you see how that's sliding and the hands never leave the staff. Okay? Now, you can combine the two of these together. Okay, so what you're going to do is your left hand is on the top, so you're going to strike, you're going to go to lotus and slide and strike, you're going to pull in, you're going to up down slide, step left, and then strike again. So you'll go strike, pull in, up, down, slide, strike, pull in, up, down, slide, strike, pull in, up, down, slide, strike, and then back to center and down. Okay? So again, this is left, right sliding, and this is up, down, sliding. Okay? So when we're using the staff, like I say, you never let go of the staff when we're doing this technique. Your hands always remain firm on the staff. You don't want to squeeze it like you're trying to break it, but you want to have a nice grip. You, you can turn it like this in your hands. So it's loose so you can turn it and you can move it but it's tight enough that you're holding it and it's not, you're not going to drop it. Okay? Okay, so that's it for this video. Those are the two techniques today. Left, right sliding and up, down sliding. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Okay? That helps more people find these videos when you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, okay? When you like the video, it helps as well because more people see it, more people will learn Kung Fu and enjoy Kung Fu. Um, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have yourself a blessed day. Thank <laughs> you.